Hi, I'm Brent Thompson of Thompson Aeronautical Limited, and in this video clip we're going to show you how to statically balance a wooden aircraft propeller. If you've ever seen an out-of-balance washing machine vibrate its way across the utility room floor, you'll know that it's incredibly important for machines that spin fast to be in balance. The same is true for propellers, of course. Propellers can be out of balance from tip to tip, and they can also be out of balance on one side of the prop shaft to the other. Let's start by seeing how this prop is doing. The blade's heavy, not so much on one blade, but on one side. Um, well, what do you mean one side? Well, the, the propeller's heavier here than it is here. This is our setup to cure the prop's out of balance condition. The prop is mounted on a mandrel that sits on two ball bearings on each end. After you've mounted the prop in the mandrel, spin it around a couple of times just to make sure that your prop is in track. This lets you know that the mandrel is mounted correctly. It's a good idea to do this a couple of times to make sure the mandrel is firmly mounted in the prop and the mandrel is not creeping on the bearings. Keep the prop in the jig and turn it gently several different times. The idea is to see where the prop comes to a final stop. You want to do this several times because you want a good understanding of where the prop will come to a final stop because this will give you a reliable indication of the prop's center of gravity. After you've done this, you'll know where to place your lead balance plug. The plug has to go directly above the, um, the, uh, the center of the manual where the prop stops. So if the prop stops in this position, it means that the center of gravity is offset downward from there and the plug needs to go there. But what would we have done if the balance plug needed to go in the prop bolt hole instead of just near the prop bolt hole? Fortunately, there's a good solution. If the balance had worked out so that the plug needed to be on the hole, we could have inserted two plugs, one here and one here. You can't put the balance weight hole between the prop bolt hole and the outer edge of the prop hub because that would weaken the prop hub too much. So anyway, this one's going here. Now you're ready to install your lead balance weight in the hole you've just drilled in the prop hub and give it a gentle spin to see how your balance works out. Start with an estimated weight, put it in, and see how the balance works out. You can trim it off or add more weight later if you need to. At the moment, the prop's not turning. That's a good sign because it means we're pretty close. But try it in two or three other positions just to make sure that the balance is correct. This is a slow process. So we're going to take a few minutes and let you watch this in real time to see what it looks like. Right now the left side of the prop is still slightly heavy, so we're going to take the balance weight out and trim some lead off. Sharpen your chisel up before you try this. I think that will be good enough. Now let's try it in the prop again. Just gonna try it in the hole again. Get the prop going. This will take a few minutes to do, but if you're doing it faster, you're doing something wrong. In this case, the lead weight is still slightly heavy, so we'll take another tiny bit off. You want to get the balance to the point where you can leave the prop in any position and it will stay there. So let's try that in several different positions to see how it works. This one looks good, but we'll try a few others. Looks like the prop will stay in this position too. Make sure that you don't have any wind blowing through your workshop that might mess up this test.
Try it in a couple more positions and then you're done with this step. Now you're ready to glue the lead weight in place with 5 minute epoxy. Put some glue in the hole first and then follow up with the lead weight. Push the weight down with a piece of wood to make sure that you have it all the way to the bottom of the hole. Now you're ready to plug the top of the hole with a wooden plug. So put some epoxy on the wooden plug and then carefully fit it in place. If you want your friends to compliment you on your woodworking skills, make sure that you line up the wood grain of the plug with the wood grain of the prop. When the epoxy is dry, use a sharp chisel to trim the excess wood. After the plug is trimmed flush, dab a couple of dabs of epoxy or varnish on the top of the plug to protect it from weathering. Now your prop is varnished and you're done. It's easy. For more information on wooden aircraft propellers, visit thompson-aero.com.